So I've been getting a lot of requests to show my track IR profile. I recently reinstalled Windows, so I forgot to save my track IR profile. So I needed to make a new profile anyway. So I thought this would be a good chance to kind of show you how I set it up. So just remember, everybody's settings are gonna be unique to them. Just because I do something some way doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So you need to set it up the way you like it. I'm just gonna show you what I think works for me. So we're just gonna start from the very beginning and I hope I can remember how I used to set this up. The first tip I'm gonna tell you is to pull your monitor and your camera as close to you as possible, like uncomfortably close, as close as you can bear it. I used to get this bad distortion when I was flying as I'm in a rate fight and having to look up and then back at the HUD and the guys across the circle, eventually the camera would move itself to where I was like pushed under the dash and I was kind of looking up at the mirror and just pulling my camera as close as I could I actually solved it. I just measured it. I'm like two feet, four inches from the camera, pretty close. And that will totally solve that warping you get. So starting at the top, uh, make sure you have Track Clip Pro selected. If that's what you're using, if you're using Track Clip, make sure you select that. So since the clip is on the left side of your head, just make sure the camera is right in front of the clip. Don't push the camera in the middle of the monitor when the clip is all the way to the left, like line the camera and the clip up together. Motion control, you wanna leave this on one. Smoothness, if you put it on zero, you can see all the little shakies that your head does. The more you move this, the more it smooths that out. If you're at 50, it introduces lag, so you don't want that. I think before I was playing on 20, but we might try 15 for today. Um, next, let's hit display. Let's show the camera view so we can make sure that we've got nice green dots. So that looks good. Let's put it back. All right, so we're gonna start a new profile. So we're just gonna hit this plus button. We're gonna name it, let's name it like DCS. Uh, we'll do it two, because we've already got one started. Let's go ahead and make a center button. So press this key and I'm gonna use a button on my joystick. So that's gonna recenter it. These boxes will allow you to see what you're adjusting if you forget what something is. For example, if I uncheck everything and just leave yaw, I can't do anything but yaw. So now you know that's what that does. So let's go ahead and do yaw. Over here we have templates, so these don't actually do anything. They just give you an idea of just a template to go by. So I think we're going to use a template of smooth and fast kind of together. So fast is up here at 11. Um, I'm going, and also make sure you have mirror on. So mirror just means whatever I do on this side is going to be done on the opposite side. If I take this off, now you can see it's wonky, but I don't understand why you would ever want to do that. So let's just leave mirror back on. Uh, I'm going to push these together just so I have a lot of dots to work with. And for fast, I'm going to start with fast. So I'm going to pull this one all the way up. And what I want to be doing, my goal is to be able to just look at the edge of my monitor and be at 180. So if I look right here, that's the edge of my monitor. So I need to, let's move this up. And I think we need to move it in as well. Yeah, see, well, that's pretty good. Doop -doop -doop -doop. That's actually pretty good right there. So now I'm gonna hit smooth. And I'm just gonna kind of smooth these out. I'm actually gonna pull this down. So this will give me like kind of a dead zone. Um, I'm gonna pull this down like this. This way when I'm aiming, my head's not jumping around when I'm trying to look at the, uh, the HUD. I'm just going to make this nice and a little bit smoother than even smooth. Let's see. I think that's pretty good. Now we're just going to flatten this out. These over here aren't going to matter because we're never going to get that far. I guess I'll make this bigger. There we go. So I think that's pretty good. Let me double check. So I'm looking at the edge. 180 is going to be right. 180 is right there. 
I think that's gonna be pretty good for me. I'm gonna pretty much set up my pitch pretty much the same way. And you can see on the right side, the head movement. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's double check. I want to. I want them to be similar. And we can fix them in uh, once we get the game going. Looks pretty good. All right. So next we're gonna do roll. And roll is just kind of a twisting of your head. So let's take it to roll. And to be honest, I am gonna leave roll just like it is. Just a flat one to one. Let's go to the next one, which is X. And X is going to be lean. So let's pull up X and we're going to leave X the same way. I'm actually, I'm just going to make sure these are extended out. Yeah. So that is our lean. I think that's pretty good. Next one is the Y. The Y is the up and down. So let's select that and I think I am actually going to raise this because I want to be able to like look over my nose. So I'm going to raise this one up to like four, 2.4, sorry. Uh, and then we're just going to flatten it out. I might even raise it up a little more. That's fine. All right, go to the next one. The Z is the lean in and out. I think what we'll do is just leave this one the way it is. So we've got a pretty simple track IR profile. So now we're leaning. Um, the last one. Doo, doo, doo. So if you if you uncheck these, they're not going to work in the game. Like if I uncheck, say, yaw. I'm not going to be able to look side to side. So make sure these are all checked. The one that you can uncheck is this true view um, because it like, I think sometimes it does a weird thing where you're looking in the cockpit and it like flips your head over when you're like looking down at the buttons. So I uncheck this one. So let's go to titles. And one thing we can do is set our game to load the profile we want. I think black shark is DCS. So let's do DCS number two. And now let's save this as well. All right, let's start a game, see what it looks like. All right, so we're in the game. We're gonna check our settings. Check our six, that looks pretty good. Up, down. Uh, be able to look at our buttons, looks pretty good. Look at our buttons, nice and good like this. Um, let's do lean, lean is good. So this is when we're going to be taking those shots. It looks good. We're up and leaning um, side to side. I mean, that's looks pretty good. I think um, might be a little seems to be a little bit delay on my looking up. I might change that actually. Let's adjust this a little bit, I think. So the pitch is too good, I think, or too smooth. Um, I think we're going to do the pitch. We're just going to follow these lines, I think, on the pitch and see how that does. So now our pitch is that way and our yaw. Yaw is like smoothed out. Let's give that a try. Let's hit this. I don't think we need to save it until we close it, but we'll hit save. All right, let's resume. Yeah, that's better. That's better. In fact, that might be the way to do it on the... I think that might be the way... That might be the way on the yaw as well. So I am going to smooth this out following the smooth pattern. Oh yeah, that's just a little bit better. I think that's just nicer. I'm not getting any like weird head flipping. I can look at lean forward. I'm looking all at my buttons. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So before we go, let me add one more tip. And that's when you first start flying in track AR. 
you want to move your head mostly left and right. That's going to be like 90% of your movement is just left and right with a little bit of up. So for example, when someone merges, um, they're going to go past you and kind of your instinct is to look up and follow them. And now you're looking diagonal, but now you, you're moving the joystick and you don't know how the plane's pointed because you're in the Viper and see you're like disoriented you don't know where the nose is pointed so just kind of get used to on the merge when the plane goes by you just look into your left or looking to your right and then add the up if you have to so most of your movement like on the merges are going to be looking this like looking straight back at the rudder and then you're going to find the plane because now he's past you now you kind of want to practice pulling the plane to where you're looking if that makes sense see how I did that so you merge you're gonna kinda look at your rudder you see the guy now you're gonna roll the plane and you're gonna kinda pull the plane to, to match where you're looking and I think that's a good practice just to start with it's okay to start practicing with the AI um, and then we can do the opposite. We can pull the plane. Uh, let's let the, those guys get behind us. Let's see, where are they at? Or just find an object. Let's say, yeah, these guys right here. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them behind me. So see, looking behind me, now I'm looking up just a little bit and I'm going to practice pulling the nose back to match where I'm looking. And that's kind of my tip. Um, when I first started playing, I would, someone would merge with me and I'd start to look up. And then I was like looking sideways, trying to follow them. And now, see, I'm rolling the plane and I don't know which way the nose is point, pointing. And all of a sudden I'm like, whoa. So yeah, that's my, that's my tip uh, for getting used to track AR. Just start all of your motions with left and right, and then add a little bit of up. Like, sure, if they're going into a loop, you can look up, but just get used to starting all your motions, looking to the left or looking to the right. And you do have the super human ability or super owl ability of just checking your six. And this is the nice thing about Track AR. So I know it's, you know, a super ability, but take advantage of it. Anyway, those are my tips. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks.